What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are continuing our Series 13 tear, but this time we are using the Fire and Water type Volcanion. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. But we're using Volcani today, and Volcani is one of those Series 13 Pokemons that's not super broken, that's not super OP, but it is very fun to use and a super cool Pokemon. Because like I said, it is a fire and water type, and I believe it is the only fire and water type Pokemon in all of Pokemon. So really cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to showcase them off. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have Calyrex over here with the weakness policy and the as one ability. This Pokemon is here to pair up with the Faramosa, or if we're going up against the Trick Room team, he can really thrive in that. He has Glacial Lance, High Horsepower, Smart Strike, and Protect for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Faramosa. So with Faramosa, it has Speed Swap, and since Faramosa is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, we can actually use Speed Swap over on the Calyrex, make Calyrex one of the fastest Pokemon, and then just roll out from there. It's got Beast Boost alongside the Focus Ash, Close Combat, Coaching, and Protect for its other three moves. Middle left is going to be Groudon. Groudon is going to be here to pair up with the Volcanion because you know Volcanion is good in heat and even in rain. And it's even going to be here to pair up with the Venusaur. Venusaur, you know, thrives out in the drought and is really, really strong. Groudon's got drought as its ability alongside with the Life Orb as an item. And it's rocking with a cool moveset of Precipice Blades, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Venusaur over here. And Venusaur, you guys know, is just OP in the sun. It's got chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun, and it's rocking the Y lens so it makes its sleep powder land a lot more. Its other three moves consist of Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. Fifth Pokemon in that bottom left hand corner is the reason or is the Pokemon that we are showcasing in today's video. It is going to be Volcanion over here. It has Water Absorb as its ability, so if any water moves hit this Pokemon, it will recover HP. So this Pokemon is really strong up against Kyogre's. It's got red card as its item, so anytime somebody hits us, they're going to have to swap out. Then it's got steam eruption for its stab signature move, heat wave for another stab move, solar beam for coverage, and haze to take off all stat changes on the field. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Zacian over here, and everybody knows Zacian is still one of the strongest Pokemon in the game, so he can really be brought on any team and do work. It's got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, and then Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Play Rough, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to write the scene for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Volcanion Series 13 team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Garchomp team with Kyogre, Shadow Rider Calyx, Sableye, Urshfu, and Zapdos. Everybody knows Zapdos is super, super strong. I could end up leading the Faramosa and Calyrex combo. I feel like that can work really well. Or I can end up leading the Groudon and Venusaur combo. But I feel like Faramo Faramosa and Calyrex will work really well here. Does he have fake out with anyone? Sableye can fake me out. That could be scary, but I feel like we can just get after it that way. I mean, do I have protect on this thing? I could double protect uh, first turn. I do. I could do a lot here. I could do a lot. Is that what I want to do? Very most of Calyrex to get us started with Volcanion and maybe Zacian in the back end. Or even Ground on Venusaur in the back end. Or Ground on Volcanion. We have a lot of different options here. We have a lot of different options. But I just feel like Faramosa and Calyrex can really get some work done. But a problem for us would be... It could definitely be that Calyrex. That Calyrex can be a huge problem for us. But still, I'm going to go into Faramosa. Let me see your speed real quick. Your speed, 223. You might be able to outspeed that Calyrex. You were cutting it close. You were cutting it close. But I'm going to go into Faramosa. I'm going to go into Calyrex. We're going to bring Groudon. And then I think we're just going to have some fun. Rock out with Volcanion in the back end. Obviously, we could bring Zacian. We could bring other Pokemon. But we're here to showcase Volcanion. So I might as well bring it in battle number one. But guys, before battle number one even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys think Volcanion is better in the sun? Or better in the rain i've been testing him out a little bit i've been thriving in the rain i've been thriving in the drought with him but i think he might be a little bit better in the rain you guys let me know your guys answers in the comment section down below this guy's gonna end up lead in okay cool sableye and garchomp so garchomp can dynamax i could also dynamax him or i can uh protect my calyrex what do i want to do here so we know he's probably gonna fake out but who's gonna fake out here go for the fake out on the calyrex and you know what? i'm just gonna go straight after this i'm gonna go speed swap here I'm just going to Dynamax go for a Glacial Lance right into the slot, right? I mean, does it, can he really bring in, out anybody that can eat up a Glacial Lance besides Kyogre? I don't think he's going to swap into Kyogre here. I really don't think he is. So, I'm, you know, I'm just going to go Speed Swap here. Try to get that speed over there. And I could just, uh... I could obviously just go into a Glacial Lance here. But I feel like the Fake Out might come over to the Calyrex slot. So, you know, I'm just going to Dynamax him here. That's my plan. He's going to end up Dynamaxing the Chomp. I'm going to end up Dynamax and Faramosa, and he has a chance to prop with this policy here, so. 
It's not too bad. That is not too bad. Let's see what, how he plays this one. He could also quash it, which kind of stinks. I'm not looking forward to a quash. Maybe I should have taken out the Sableye. Maybe I should have taken out Sableye, because if he fakes out my... No, we can still take out Quash. I'm kind of cool with this. A speed swap wouldn't matter if he's quashing. Quash is such a good move, but I love Quash. I feel like Sableye is like the only Pokemon that learns that move, but definitely other Pokemon learn it, but Sableye is just the main Pokemon that, that uses it. But yeah, Quash is definitely deadly. It's definitely a deadly move. 414 HP we go up to. He's going to end up going for the fake out in a Faramosa. I hate you. I don't like you one bit. And who are you going to take out here? Are you going to take out Faramosa or are you going to go after my... He's going to go after Faramosa. Wow, what a play. I'll give that to him all day. That's a great play. Puts me on minus one. That's a really smart play. A really, really smart play. He puts me on minus one here. And I don't think this, uh, this Hailstorm can take out, can it? How oh, he just dumps into my Faramosa like that. Smart play by him. We go into the Hailstorm, and Hailstorm still gets work done. We go back up to normal because of Chilly Night, and I'm liking that a lot. And we have Dynamax. Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit. I apologize. I apologize to this guy. Still, it might have still been able to take him out. It's four times super effective. Oh, it just does Garchomp so dirty. It just does him dirty. Maybe he thought I was protecting, but still, that was, that was a good call to take that out. Because now I don't have speed with him. So from here, I think I just bring out Volcanium. Probably my best bet. Save my ground on for the back end. Because if he has Kyogre, we got to win this weather war in order to win this game. So we're going to bring out our lovely little Volcanion. And he's going to bring out... He's bringing out... Calyrex. Okay, so Calyrex comes out here. Buffets are going to start flying. I mean, he could proc policy with me all day. But I feel like I just go into a steam engine here. Or not a steam engine. A steam... Uh, what is it? Steam eruption. Into you. And then on top of that, I just go for the Quake. Or do I go for a Steel Spike? I mean, you seem like you have a bunch of special attackers in the back end, so... I feel like Quake's gonna have to be my play. Let's just Quake into this. Because if he hits me with Astro Barrage, that procs my weakest policy. He's gonna trick me. Oh, he takes out my weakest policy. How dare you? What, what item are you giving me? A Jack Bun. What a play. What a play. Oh my god, dude. This opponent's making some good moves. Making some great moves. But I red card him, which is good. But I switch out that Calyrex. And he's gonna Jack Bun me. And we bring out this little Pokemon. Jack Spun. God dang it, man. Jack Spun coming in hot. Uh, okay. So he has these Pokemon. He doesn't have anybody to change up the weather. But you know what stinks? Now my Steam Edge is going to do nothing. Now my, now my Steam Edge is going to do nothing. Well, not my Steam Edge. My Steam Eruption. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on. We do have Thunder Punch. We do have Fire Punch. Um, Bird's kind of scaring me. I'm going to Steam Erupt here. And deal some damage over on you. Can I get a burn? Maybe. Possibly. I do get a burn. Okay, lovely. So we get a burn on that thing. We're starting to slowly chip up some damage. And I could... What could I do here? Hmm. I'm just going to do a heat wave. But I think the bird just carries me with a thunderbolt, right? So we're going to a fire punch here. Just, it's tough. It's real tough. I guess I'll just go into a fire punch here. See what he does. He's going to end up using trick. He's going to take my uh, life orb. And give me a weakness policy. Okay. Right? Yeah, you're going to take my life orb. How dare you take my life orb? And he's going to go for the hurricane, which misses. That's a big time dodge. That's a big time dodge. So fire punch going to come out here. That's some big damage. Give me a burn on that thing. It's static. We get paralyzed. That hurts. How can a ground type be paralyzed? Makes no sense. But heat wave's coming in hot here. Stab in the drought. Can we pick up some KOs? We do. We pick up a big time double KO. We pick up a big time double KO. But my problem here is going to be this... Uh, this Calyrex can win this battle. I'm not even going to lie. This Calyrex can easily win this battle. This Calyrex can just Astro Barrage me all day. Yeah, right? Because he can take out Volcanion here. And he can take out Groudon in two shots, right? Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Not one bit. Because my Calyrex dies to his Calyrex in one shot. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. But yo, my boy's playing good. My boy Volcanion's doing some work. But from here, we got to go for... got to go for the Blades here. We gotta get off as much damage as we can and hope that maybe it's not sashed. He goes for the Astro Barrage. Groudon can eat this up, but I know Volcanion probably dies here, right? Volcanion, can you somehow eat? You do not. Groudon might be able to eat up another one. Don't be paralyzed. Do not be paralyzed. Actually, he can't. He's criminally boosted. That hurts soul. Land his blades for me. We land the blades. Show me no sash and just KO. It, it, it could potentially be sashed, but dude, this is tough. 
This is tough. That's GG's, right? That is GG's. This sucks, man. This sucks. We lose to a Calyrex, man. A Shadow Rider Calyrex. We had a Volcanium buzzing. Hmm. I don't know what we do. So anyway, if we had Buffets on the field, it could have been great. It could have been great. There's nothing we can do here. We just go for a Glacial Lance, and then we go for a uh, Fire Punch here. There's nothing we can do. That's GG's. That is GG's. This Calyrex comes in hot in the end. Cleans up the battle, but at least we get to showcase Volcanium battle number one. So, yep, there's Astro Barrage. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul, but our opponent was playing some great moves. He had those great tricks. He had the great moves going, and he outplayed us a little bit, but then Calyrex comes in the back end for a triple kill to win the game. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. You guys know the deal. I do not like to go into a third battle 0-2, so, you know, we're going to go 1-1 one one by winning this battle. We're going up against a pretty cool team. He's got the Raladon. He's got Vol uh, Volcarona, and then he's got, what is that, Milotic, Talonflame, Serene, and then Pichu over here. I don't know if Pichu's just here for support, but it's kind of scaring me. It is definitely kind of scaring me. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could go Venusaur and Groudon, but I feel like I'm a uh, Groudon and Volcanion. Having some fun with this one. Let's go Groudon. Let's go Volcanium. We'll bring Venusaur in the back end. And then last but not least, we'll bring Zacian. I feel like he leads Talonflame. I mean, at that point, I can just Thunder Punch it with, uh, with Groudon and roll off from there. And then have a Heat Wave on top of that. Because Heat Wave does work on a few of these Pokemon. Plus, he does have a uh, Milotic. I do have Solar Beam okay, for coverage. So, that's pretty solid. That is pretty solid. But like I said, we have to grab ourselves a win here in this battle. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I'm going into that third and final battle. And I'm winning that battle for you guys. I got to keep the winning record streak going for Series 13. But that first battle was super close. Came down to the wire. Our opponent made some great plays. If he didn't have trick and eject button on my what's it called? If he didn't have trick and eject button on my uh on my Calyrex, we definitely would have won that game. Because that took out our Dynamax. It was such a good play by him. Such a good play. Cause then he would have Astro Blast, I would have had weakness policy, I would have ripped into the Calyrex and we would have we would have been thriving. But he's gonna end up leading Serene alongside with uh Talon Flame. I'm just gonna Thunder Punch and just heat wave on top of that. Seems like my best bet, right? Then maybe Dynamax one of these guys after the fact. But I feel like he has the Tailwind here. I think he has Tailwind. Yeah, there goes the Tailwind. And what's he going for? He does have Triple Axle with Serena here. Probably, right? He's going to go for a Trop Kick. Okay. Should be able to soak up a Trop Kick, right? It's a big time damage move. It's a big time damage move. And it gets a drop. It gets an attack drop, which is solid. Which is solid. It is Orb. That's why it did so much damage. Thunder Punch is still going to fly here. Can we KO with that? If Orb. That's some big damage. That's beautiful damage. Because we have Heat Wave thriving out here with Volcanion. Should be able to pick up a double kill. We love this Pokemon. We love this Pokemon. It's a big time double kill. We're thriving off strong here. What a start. What a start. Dude, that Trap Kick did some damage, man. <laughs> I thought he was going to triple axle, but Trap Kick probably would have been the play. But it's coverage. Or it is stab. It is stab. But tri uh, triple axle would have been coverage. So that would have been tough for him. Would have been tough for him. But he's going to end up going into uh, Volcarona and who else? Because I might just Dynamax Volcanion here. Yeah, I'm thriving, right? And my yeah, we're dying. I could solar beam. I could definitely solar beam. But I'm just gonna go into a blades here. And do I solar beam or do I max overgrowth? I can geyser change the rain, but no, we probably overgrowth, right? I'm not too worried about that Volcarona. Who do or, yeah, who do we have in the back end? We have Venusaur. I kind of got so I gotta keep this weather. I gotta keep this weather. I want to get after that Volcarona. Let's just flare into the Volcarona. Let's do that. Let's just flare into the Volcarona. Let's see who he Dynamaxes. Let's see who he maxes. But we're going to Dynamax our Volcan here. We're having some fun with this one. We got to showcase this Pokemon. And it's doing really well. It is doing pretty solid right here. The only move that we really didn't get to show off yet is uh, his signature move. But it's legit just like a... It's like a better Scald. It's like a Hydro Cannon mixed with a Scald. That's basically what it is. But we have this one on a on a drought team. Maybe I'll eventually showcase it with a oh we protect you. Maybe I'll eventually showcase it with a uh with a rain team because Volcanion thrives with both. So I end up dropping a blizzard. That takes out my ground on all day. Do not freeze my boy. Actually it wouldn't even matter because we thaw out in heat. So he ends up going for a blizzard, he double connects, which is pretty cool. And then uh Max Flare is gonna fly here. Not do too much damage. And we should be kinda chilling. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax. Surprised he did not Dynamax him. What item are you rocking? Leftovers? He is a leftovers boy. Is a leftovers boy. This thing is leftovers. I could go into Venusaur. Venusaur should be able to outspeed that uh, Milotic. Yeah, so I could Solar Beam in that Flare again. Kind of finish up this battle. This battle's looking GG easy. Or I could put the Milotic to sleep in case he Dynamaxes it. But now we're, we're 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 all about that Solar Beam life. We're all about that Solar Beam life. So I'm just gonna Flare. I'm just gonna Solar Beam. It doesn't look like this guy's Dynamaxing, which I don't know why. 
It is casual battle, so like sometimes you get some people who don't Dynamax. But maybe he will. Yeah, I should have put him to sleep. He's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna Dynamax that Milo Milo. And uh yeah, we should have put it to sleep. You know, I was saying that too. I was just like, maybe we should just put it to sleep because in case it Dynamaxes. I was just like, nah, let's go for a solar beam. Solar beam looks so much cooler though. And he's probably changing up the weather here too, so that kinda hurts. We definitely should do this. We don't have Zassy in the back end. Tailwind's gonna end uh, in a couple turns. I feel like we're fine. Solar beam coming in hot. Absorb the light, buddy. Absorb that light. Okay, dump on this thing. It's not gonna kill it, I don't think, but it's gonna do some big damage. Not even close. Oh my god. This thing soaks. Heat wave's coming out. Hey! Hold up. Wait a minute. We're in trouble. We're in a little bit of trouble here. He's gonna go first, too. And he's going he's gonna Quake. He's going to Quake. Red card's gonna do nothing. Should be able to soak up this Quake pretty well. And hopefully we can take out this, uh, actually, no, we're not going to be able to take out this Volcano. Oh, my God. I hate this game. I don't like this game one bit. We need speed back. We need speed back. We need speed back right now. ASAP. ASAP we need speed back. Player comes out here. How much damage is that doing? It does not pick up the KO. We have to protect our Zassian out here. We cannot take a Heat Wave and a, what's it called? Oh, my God, dude. This battle's. Oh, my God. I don't like where we're, where we're sitting here. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I like this one bit. This is a special defense boost. We could stay in with Zassy, but I, I have to protect it, right? Because how many turns? One more turn left in Tailwind? Yes, one more turn left in Tailwind. That's an easy protect. And then an easy flare for the KO. Yeah, we have to flare and get rid of this thing. Get rid of the Volcanion or the Volcarona. So I'm going to protect him. He's not protecting because his protect would have came out first because he's faster. He's probably just going for another Heat Wave. So Heat Wave comes out here. We block. Do this. And maybe he's going for another Quake. It's a crit on me. How dare you get a crit on me like that? He goes for Quake. That's probably going into Zassian, I feel like. Oh, he reads the protect. Wow, he reads the protect. I'm able to eat. And I need to get rid of this uh, Volcarona here. Can we get rid of this Volcarona? It's plus two on special defense. I really hope so. I really hope so. But at least we uh we waste out Tailwind. Can we KO you? Beautiful. Beautiful. Big time KO. His Dynamax is over, right? Or does he have one more turn? I feel like it's over, right? No, he has one more turn. He has one more turn. We definitely gotta drop a Solar Beam. He's plus two on special defense. We might be able to get off some big damage. And what does more damage? A not very effective Behemoth Blade or Play Rough? This is double damage. This is neutral. This might, this might do a little bit more. I think Behemoth Blade does a little bit more. Not very effective, cuts it to half, 50, it's double, back to 100, plus stab. Yeah, this does a little bit more, so I'm just going to go into Behemoth Blade. And I guess I'll go into... Oh, I could haze you. I could haze you, but how many turns is left in uh, Sunlight? One. I don't want to go for the haze. I'm going to go for the haze here. I think we are faster now, which is good. Behemoth Blade's going to Oh, why would I haze my uh, Zassian? That's kind of stupid. I was just worried about a special defense boost, but I haze my Zassian. We are going to... Oh my god, get off some big damage. I don't think it matters if we haze him or not. I don't think it matters. He's going to end up going for Quake in the Who. To my Zassian. I feel like Zassian can eat this. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So we haze it. We take off a special defense boost. I feel like we're thriving here. I feel, I feel like we have this battle. I feel like we have this battle. But yeah, I take out my Zassian's plus of one attack, but it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I just need that special defense boost. You know if I want a Volcarona doing anything. We're not Volcarona, Volcanium. But wow, this battle actually came a lot closer than I thought it would. Definitely a lot closer than I thought it would. Had to make some good uh, plays. I can now go into a Sacred Sword. Or do I just go into Play Rough? I don't want to miss with the Play Rough. That's my problem. That's my problem. I do not want to miss with the Play Rough. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to char start charging a Solar Beam here. So battle was canceled. There it is, guys. One on one. Like I said, we were not losing that battle. And now we can hop into our third. Look for that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. I feel like we should be fine. I feel like we can dump on a lot of these Pokemon here. I feel like this battle's kind of in the bag already, but we're gonna grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Drudgeon team. Haven't seen Drudgeon in forever. I think I might have used him once on Rank Ladder. Not too sure. But then he also has Snorlax. He has Real Boom. He has Haxers. I love Haxers. And then Corviknight and Gardevoir. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I could obviously speed swap a Kyler and kind of just sweep this battle. Right? That seems like the best play. 
but I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this one and go Groudon, or you know what? We're just gonna go Volcanion and Sassy. Absolutely, because I want to use uh, that, uh, this is a new move, which I really like. So I'm gonna go into them too. I'm gonna bring Groudon in the back end, and do I even bring Venusaur? Yeah, 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 we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna grab ourselves a swing back. I'm winning this battle, no problem. Calyrex rips into a lot of them, so obviously if this was like a competitive game, or like a, uh, if I had money on the line or a tournament, blah, 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 I would have definitely went to Pharamosa and Calyrex because I felt like that's probably your best bet. Because who's going to lead? Roboom? Haxorus? Like, Drudgegon? We dump on all of them. We dump on all of them. He's going to end up leading the Roboom and the Snorlax. So he could fake out and he could belly jump. The fake out and belly jump could come out here. Uh, I think at this point we just drop a Heat Wave. And we Behemoth Blade on top of that. But a Heat Wave just seems like it does the most work. Then we still have Speed, which is we still have speed, which is cool. Because he could belly jump here. Belly jump's looking scary. Fake out into a belly jump. Looking a little terrifying. Do not like that. I do not like that if he wants to go belly jump here. <laughs> belly jump is just too much work. The Heath Blade's going to fly here. We have speed. He does not even go for the fake out. He doesn't even go for the fake out. So we're going to do some big damage on the Snorlax here. Maybe even KO him. Yep. See you later, Snorlax. Get him on out of here. And this battle is going to be light work. It's going to be light work for you guys. He's gonna end up going for a drum beating into who? My Vol Volcanion. Which should be able to soak it up, dude. He's beefy. He's really bulky, and of course he gets a speed drop. But I'm gonna right card him. Which kind of sucks because I'm dropping the heat wave. So I'm gonna right card him. We're gonna say, hey, yo, get out of here. We right card him, and he throws out Gardevoir. Okay, I'm cool with Gardevoir. Gardevoir comes out of here. Heat wave's flying. Yeah, I'll send it. Save us nice damage. Give me a burn, too. Give me a burn, too. Give me a burn. No burn comes out of here. So if I was him, I think he just goes back out into, into Real Boom, right? Yeah, he's going to go back out in the Real Boom. And at this point, he might Dynamax it. I'm just going to go into a Steam Eruption into this slot. And I'm just going to Behemoth play this slot, right? Makes the most sense. Real Boom full HP might even Dynamax. And if it Dynamax, <laughs> we take it out, dude. We're going to say bye-bye to this starter. Oh my god, he's doing it. He's doing it. Say bye-bye to him. Unless this is the Gardevoir. I don't know. Is it, who is it? It's got to be the Roboom. Full HP? Oh, yeah. See you later, Roboom. Not even a G-Max Roboom. Big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. That just solidified this victory. This might even be a sweep here. Zassian's going to go first. He's going to say, see you later to this Roboom. Times two damage. Stab. Oh, my God. Get it out of here. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. This Pokemon's too OP. I don't know. I don't know what the Pokemon company was thinking when they were just like, Make this Pokemon and put him in ranked battles. I'm just like, dude, like, come on now. He's going to end up going for a Thunderbolt. You might die to that. You eat it. I love you. Show off this, the, the move. Show off your move. Steam Eruption coming out here. Look how cool this move looks. Dude, it looks so sick. It looks so sick. He unhooks his little hoop on top and two Eruption Cannons just come out there and dominate it. It's just so cool. But that's going to be the winning record for you guys. Like I said, we'll win this battle. I kind of knew we were going to win this battle from the start. This guy's team didn't look so hot. It did not look so hot compared to mine. But at this point, I'm just going to say, I guess I'll steam erupt again. He doesn't even have Dynamax. We'll just play rough and finish off this battle. Cancel battle. Little sweep. Little sweep to end today's video. You got to love it. You got to love it. Volcanion doing some work today. And we get to show him off with Dynamax and without Dynamax. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a Volcanion team for Series 13 showcased on the channel, and we grab ourselves another winning record with a Series 13 team. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I think it has such a cool design, but it is not that strong compared to the other ones. Like, you have Pokemon like Magirna, you have Pokemon like Marshadow, you have Pokemon like Victini, who are all, in my opinion, stronger than Volcanion, but Volcanion is definitely very strong or very fun to use and strong in certain situations like with weather with Groudon or weather with Kyogre he really thrives with both but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today I'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody